My name is Harold Wilburn, and I am a father, I am a grandfather, I am a husband, I'm a U.S. Marine, I'm an American, and in case you haven't noticed, I'm also black. And today I'd like to have a short conversation with you about what Black Lives Matter movement means to me. But first, let me tell you what it does not mean to me. It doesn't mean that only black lives matter. It doesn't mean that white or any other lives matters less. It means if we are going to say all lives matter, then the statement that black lives matter has to be true also. Now, let's, let's be realistic. We have to stop the killing of innocents. But more importantly, we have to get rid of the acceptance that those killings are okay, that there's something we can live with. We can't live with those. Now, this movement, it isn't new. It started with my grandparents. They fought for equality. My parents continued that fight during the civil rights movement to get to that finish line of equality. My generation continued it, even after great progress. And now my children are still trying to get to that finish line. And that finish line we have to get to by having a conversation. Let's be honest. If I took 100 children today of all backgrounds, ethnic, black, white, different sizes, and put them in a playground, those kids are going to play and play and have fun and enjoy each other's company until we as adults, who somewhere along the line have been taught we are different, tell them it's time to go. So what this movement means to me is we as adults have to sit down and have a two-way conversation on where that disconnect happened from the kids having a good time to us now thinking it's okay that some of us can be killed and some of us can't. That's the conversation we have to have. We have to first acknowledge there's a problem and then we have to discuss that why we accept it and stop accepting these things that we consider wrong. So that's what the Black Lives Matter movement means, means to me. What I want to happen is my grandchildren to come up to me one day and say, Papa, really? Was America really like that? I'm so glad it's not like that anymore.